Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head over to Edinburgh once again. So we're going to revisit the Top Out Brewery today who I've had some very positive experiences with in the past. The last beer I tried from these guys, the South Face, the Red New Zealand IPA, that was really quite nice. But we're going to have a look at one of their older ones today. So this one is the Copperhead. This is an amber ale that comes in at 3.4% and it's got a little bit of a ginger twist to it. This brewery of course are very very distinctive for their kind of orienteering, mountaineering style of artwork, so you will always recognise the top out beers. Um, but I know Brian Sheriff over at Ginger's Beer Reviews has tried this one and he really quite liked it, so make sure you check out his review of this beer as well. And uh, I'm looking forward to trying this one. This is one that I've wanted to try for a little while and just never got round to, so I hope you guys enjoy my take on this beer. But anyway, as is usual with my beer reviews, then I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you want to get straight to the tasting, of course, just fast forward. All the usual links are in the description below. That's the brewery website, the link to my other reviews I've done from Top Out Brewery before. No doubt I will do some more in the near future. There's all the usual social media. If you want to see more beer reviews, do please consider subscribing to the channel. The whole channel, of course, has a geography-based tagging system, so you can go into the homepage and search for beer based on country, city or state, whatever it is you're interested in. Do check out the playlist of beers from different countries. There is one there for all the Scottish beers that are reviewed for you. That's being added to whenever I can, of course, and please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review. It's always great to hear from you guys and the support that you give the channel is hugely appreciated. So anyway, to tell you a little bit about Top Out Brewery then. So Top Out Brewery was founded by Moe Huppert and Michael Birch and they were formed back in 2013. So their brew kit was bought from Red Willow Brewery in Cheshire down in England and they're now based in Lonehead in Edinburgh. So Moe previously studied biology and physics and had a background in construction and he now keeps many of the yeast strains that are used in in the brewery's beers. He looks after them himself because uh, he's meant to be really quite good at that actually. I was hearing from some people that he's experimenting with that quite a bit. But Michael is actually German born and he had a long career in the whiskey industry as a retailer as well. So these guys do have a very strong science and uh, drinks background as well. So really kind of good recipe to start up a brewery there. But the brewery was originally going to be called Eclipse but a last minute objection from an overseas drinks producer put an end to that and the name Top Out comes from Michael's love of mountaineering and this is why all of the uh, the bottles feature this kind of style of bottle art and these these artworks that you actually see on all of the top out beers are genuine kind of snippets from uh, ordnance survey maps as well so really cool and like I said that makes the top out brewery beers really quite distinctive but top out launched with a smoked porter and they were assisted in their startup by Steve from Stuart Brewing Company as well that's another very very good Edinburgh brewery that you definitely need to check out if you find yourself over here but um, they've been gradually building up their capacity over the last few years doing new beers and stuff like this but um, Top Out Brewery have been going from strength to strength and like I said they produce some really nice stuff. I mean I really enjoyed the South Face IPA that I had from these guys last time. I'm sure I tried their smoke beer like a few years ago and I do need to have a go at the cone as well but this is one like I said this beer has been around for quite a wee while and I've just never got around to reviewing it but it's one that has been on my radar for a little while so yeah um, that's all you need to know about the brewery just now like I said if you want to read more you can go into the brewery website website and have a look at their different beers and stuff like this but they're a really interesting brewery and I recommend you check them out but yeah let's get on to the tasting of this beer then so you can just have a little look at the artwork there really nicely presented as I say I really enjoy or really like this kind of mountaineering style of artwork that they have I like all the contours and stuff but it tells you a little bit about the beer and the brewery on the back here it says Top Out Brewery is based in a small brew house just outside Edinburgh we combine Scottish and German brewing influences with the world's best beer styles and ingredients to create great tasting original craft beers when we're not brewing you'll find us clinging to a rock face climbing is our other passion and each of our labels shows a different summit of a mountain with a route to its summit our head brewer topped out with all of them Always on the lookout for inspiration, our head brewer was climbing Ben Inna on a mild Easter Sunday. The views were some of the best he had ever seen in Scotland. After passing through a cloud inversion covering Loch Lomond, he could see all the way from Arran to Ben Nevis. When the weather was unseasonably hot, he really wished for a beer like this one, light refreshing with a good ginger kick. So a copperhead, English for copperhead, is a piece of aid climbing kit made famous on scary routes using or up El Capitan in California's Yosemite Valley. So yeah. 
yeah, they've all got these kind of orienteering style names as well, but it's a plain bottle cap on this one. Like I said, it's a 3.4% amber ale, and it's got a little bit of a ginger thing to it. The malt base on this one has oats in it as well, and wheat, so it should be really nice. Suitable for vegetarians as well, actually, so yeah, will be a really nice one. So we'll get this guy out then, and get on with the tasting. Really looking forward to this. So yeah, nice little bit of smoky opening there on this one, and we'll get it out. Oh, that's a really nice colour, that. A nice, kind of deep, sort of orange, you know, and you can really smell some of that lovely gingery spice coming out of this beer. It's crystal clear as well, look at that. It is a pretty damn clear beer, this. So, as you can see, if I hold this up to the light, I'm not sure how well you're seeing it, of course, but it's a really nice dark, uh, almost blood orange colour, this one. There's some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass there, quite a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of the head, and there's a thin sort of uh, foamy layer to this one, but it looks really quite nice. So, yeah, just take a little bit of time and enjoy that. There's one or two little bits of sediment kind of floating around in the beer. And if I put my fingers behind it, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it is quite transparent. There is just a little bit of hazy character to it, but there's a little bit of bready and kind of serially note coming off this with some of that kind of nice gingery spice. But yeah, it looks exactly as you'd kind of expect from an amber ale. So let's take a closer look at the aroma then and see how we get on. Yeah, definitely leaning towards that kind of ginger side of things. That's really nice. So yeah, the ginger spice in this one really does kind of jump out at you. There's a little bit of breadiness in there. You can smell some of this nice kind of sweet biscuity character. There's definitely a bit of a kind of cereally grainy character there as well. It really just all goes together very well. There's a little bit of a sort of grassy floral kind of thing. Maybe a wee bit of a, an almost lemongrass note as well. That'll be the hops coming out, the summit hops. Of course, it was the American Summit hops that they used in this beer. Very low alcohol, of course, 3.4%, but it smells really nice. It's going to be a very light, kind of sessionable beer, this. But yeah, just take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of this one. I've never quite come across a ginger, a sort of beer, a, a ginger that's kind of smelled quite like this. It reminds me a little bit of the kind of Krabby's alcoholic ginger beer that you get here in Scotland, but it's got a little bit more kind of caramelly and sort of beery sweetness to it. That's probably a good way to describe this one. Bready, cereally, a little bit of spice, and then you're getting some of the nice kind of floral, grassy, and slightly lemongrassy American hops on this. But yeah, just take a little bit of time and mull over the aroma before you actually try this beer. But let's get stuck into this one then. So this one is the Copperhead from Top Out Brewery over in Edinburgh. Slange. Yeah. Now, the thing I would say about this one is, you know, it's not going to blow your head in terms of hoppiness, juiciness, or anything like that. This is just meant to be a nice kind of easy going, easy drinking beer. And it certainly does that. The ginger character that the beer has is really interesting. It just gives it a completely... It's completely different, really, from what I was expecting. I was expecting this one to be a really kind of a uh, sweet, caramelly, malty amber with just a little bit of ginger in the uh, in the background. But it really does lean more towards that uh, that sort of ginger thing. It, the ginger is a lot more prominent than, than I was expecting. But yeah, that's good. I mean, I certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink this beer again. So once again, Top Out have done a really nice job with this. So it would actually be really interesting. This guy's 3.4%, so back over in Sweden, this one could actually be sold in the supermarkets there as one of the folk sales, but it's really nice, this. But yeah, it does exactly what it says in the bottle. It's a really nice, light, refreshing beer. So with the malt base on this one, you'll feel a little bit of that kind of pale malty character just blank at the middle of your tongue. You can feel a little bit of the kind of wheaty smoothie character just on top of that and there's a little bit of the kind of smoothness from the oats as well. There's a wee bit, if you go right into the middle of your palate, it's almost a little bit biscuity but that ginger character there, it's just infused right into it. There's almost a little bit of a kind of 
woody undertone to the beer as well, which is quite interesting. The, all of the character, or most of the kind of complexities to the flavour of this one, are in the middle of your palate where all these malty kind of notes come out. But it's really, it's really quite nicely done. As I said, in terms of hoppy bitterness, malt sweetness and fruitiness and stuff like that, the beer isn't going to blow your head on any of those counts. This one's more about how things blend together and it's just meant to be a nice kind of light, easy drinking beer. This one would actually be lovely as a kind of a uh, as a cask conditioned beer, I think without the, if you took the carbonation down on this, it would be really nice in that um, that kind of smooth cask conditioned deal. But in the bottle conditioning as well, where it's a little bit crisper, it works very very well. But yeah, this is this is a really interesting one. I don't think I've had. Uh, a beer with ginger in it that's come across quite like this, so it's a very kind of quirky beer in that regard. I certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink this again. It's a kind of fairly straight up, easy drinking beer, which is exactly what it said it was meant to be on the bottle. In terms of the, the hoppy side of this thing, so in the back corners of the palate there's a little bit of earthiness there. As you come further forward you can feel the earthiness just kind of smoothing out a little bit and at the front corners of the palate there's a wee bit of a sort of floral character around the very front curve of the tongue. It's lighter and grassy and there is almost a little bit of a kind of lemon grassy note coming out of this one too. But that's a really nice beer. I cert like I said, I certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink this again. It's just a very easygoing, sessionable beer. In terms of the amber ale category, it's very different from any amber ale I can come across before. If it was going to fit into that category, it definitely leans more towards the kind of English style of amber ale than the American one. It's got a little bit of that kind of cereally, grainy character in the malt base that you would expect from an English amber ale. But the, the ginger aspect to it, it's very interesting too. I can't say that I've ever had an amber ale that is quite like this one. So if you like your beers, like me when you're a beer reviewer, you want things that are a little bit quirky, this one is definitely going to fit into that into that category. But it's the main components of the flavour in this one are the cereally kind of bready aspect. There is a little bit of sweetness to it, like I said, but mainly it's a kind of cereally grainy sort of thing and the ginger kind of lingers in there too. But overall, it's a really quite nice beer. So if you get the chance to try this one, I recommend that you do. This is a cracking summer beer, you know, this would be really good for sitting out in the sun and just having a couple of the, a couple with your friends. This is really good in that regard. But um, in terms of the mouthfeel of this beer then, I would say... It's mid-bodied. It's actually got a good bit of body for it when you consider that it's only 3.5% alcohol. The carbonation is quite smooth. It's got a little bit of crispness to it as well, which helps bring out some of the kind of spicy cereally and uh, and some of that ginger character as well. It's got a, more of a, a wet mouth feel to it. There's a little bit of oily character in there. The malt base on this one, like I said, has a little bit of dryness and spiciness to it, which is interesting. There is a wee bit of sweetness in there too, and some of the smoothness from the oats in the wheaty aspects of the beer, there's a little bit of hoppy bitterness and a wee bit of a kind of, there is a tiny little bit of a juicy fruitiness as well. Like I said, it's got a little bit of that sort of lemongrassy, citricky character too. But overall, like I said, it's a really uh, nice, easygoing, sessionable beer, this, and it's very different from any other Ambrio that I've come across. I think that's a very good way to kind of uh, sum up this one. So the main flavours in this one and the aftertaste are definitely some of the ginger and cereally character and a little bit of that hoppy bitterness, but a very good summer session beer this so if you get the chance i highly recommend you check it out but yeah it's been really cool to return it to top out brewery once again and have a look at one of their more regular beers of course i really enjoyed the the south face when i tried that before i've got a big a big love of new zealand hops so if you want a nice big juicy fruity ipa then make sure you try the south face i do still need to review the cone for you at some point so i will try and do that over the summer at some stage but if you want a really nice easy going easy drinking session beer Copperhead is a very good place to start. So if you love ginger beer, I'm sure you'll like this. This is a, a more beery version of ginger beer, if that makes sense. But yeah, once again, thank you for watching. Until the next time, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. This was the Copperhead from Top Out Brewery over in Edinburgh. Do let me know your own thoughts on this beer in the comment section below if you've tried it before, and let me know what your favourite beers from Top Out Brewery are as well. But until the next time, slanger just now, and I will catch you very soon. Make sure you check out Top Out Brewery from Edinburgh. Slanger.